not be our destination, even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Socrates, you're losing me. both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Yeah, all that philosophizing. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Uh oh. Holy loud music, Batman. Let me turn that down just a little bit. It's gonna drown out the dialogue for sure. <laughs> I'm not a fan of dialogue being drowned out. I like this music though, it's nice and cheery. So why is this yellow line going on the wall and then the ceiling and then the wall? You know, I need to turn this down. Again, like all the way. It's way louder than the audio was, and that's gonna throw the balance out. There we go, that's better. Much better. Yeah, I can't walk on walls. I'm not Spider-Man. <gasps> Stanley Spider-Man. I figured it out, everybody. I knew it. I knew there had to be more to this than meets the eye. Stanley is Spider-Man. Confirmed. It's foreshadowing. That's what it is. <laughs> what the... I don't understand. Help me. Help me. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. How is this fern special? It just looks like a regular fern sitting in a planter. I Might as well just memorize like the shape. Just memorize like, alright that leaf goes up over there and that one's over there and that one's slightly to the right. Yeah, whatever. It's just a fern, like what, what could be so special about this fern? Socrates, I need your help. Tell me. What to do? Whatever. Hopefully that's not like the secret to beating the game. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Clearly this line is not as simple as the yellow brick road. It's taken us to what the... Okay, hold on. So that goes back over there. This goes... Okay, I think this is going forward. Or maybe it's not. I have no idea. Uh oh Now we're back here! Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. How many restarts are we going to do <laughs> in the first 20 minutes of the game? Good lord. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know, 
How about this direction? Yeah, that'll just work out fine because it's worked now, so well for us yes, in the past. This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Anybody see? Anybody else see what's wrong with this? This game is a mind ninja. None of this is possible. This isn't really happening. It's not true. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. It's kind of hard, you know. And I would like to become Spider-Man, so I don't want to completely ignore it. Oh, there we go. It's going... It's going away again. Thank you. This doesn't look ah, nice. A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles. Oh, right? Jesus, that scared okay. the shit out of me. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. No, I don't like this. I don't think that's accurate, narrator. I believe we should take the left door. Oh, God. Oh, hey. It doesn't matter. Look at that. Look how much it doesn't matter which door we take. The confusion ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Uh, so now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Anybody well, see a problem with this right here? Me. Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh Jesus! Stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. I don't think so. Well, in the meantime... What just happened that scared me? Uh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> what does it mean? I don't want to be afraid anymore. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Why? Did that mean I got a game over? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
<laughs> How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Oh, it's gone. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide is a slick blue graphic in the header. And throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Thanks, game. I feel unique. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Last time I ignored him and didn't do what he told me, so this time I'm doing what he tells me to do. I don't want to get screwed over anymore. This is a fancy office. What? Is this Wayne Manor? Where's my fancy office? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Uh -oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. How do I activate it? Oh, what the? I've got a reticle now? Am I missing something? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I have tried trying oh. to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yeah, I didn't see that before. I thought it was like some sort of secret thingy mabobber in a drawer. Anyways. Two, eight, four, five. Hey, shut up, man. I'm getting to it. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Mr. Narrator Guy. What does this all mean? I'd love to know, please. Uh-oh. I don't want to go downstairs. I don't want to go! Please! I'm so confused. None of it makes sense. Not a scrap of it. Why? Standing deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Are we gonna find out the secret of life? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The meaning of all meanings? I'm getting the hell out of here. Run! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't believe you! 